Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. Uh, we're just going to do the same thing we were doing yesterday. Uh, I think the Huntress was working really well for that. The dog is a little bit uh, high variance, like sometimes the dog is really great and a lot of times the dog is less than really great. But I think on average the dog is still probably more effective for the thing we're doing here than the, uh, the lockpicks. And the shop discount that the pilot has is not nothing. But I'm hoping, hoping if we get like even one or two items from the dog, it's it's probably better to be running with the dog. Also, I really do like the hunter's alter alternate costume here. So uh, I did do I did do a partial run just now that I discarded because frankly it was a bad run and I was playing poorly and also the commentary wasn't very good. So you know what I'm saying is. Just another day uh, here at SB Plays Games. Did I let the water get destroyed? I did. There's a water barrel right here. We can... This is a solvable problem. You know, I've been trying to. I just made a little self-deprecating joke there, and it makes me makes me think. I've been trying to cut down on the self-deprecation a little bit lately. Uh, I have had self-esteem problems. For a lot of my life, and when you have self-esteem problems, the self-deprecating humor uh, becomes an outlet for like having having crappy self-esteem in front of people, but kind of secretly, because you can always just oh, you know, it's just it's just a joke, and it's not a big deal. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. When you are, you know, manifestly extremely not fine. Take this, enemies. Oh, is that guy? No, okay. Second, I thought he was fired. He's actually the exact opposite. He's extremely flammable. Uh, so the the self-deprecating humor becomes kind of a kind of a way of hiding in plain sight, and then you get used to it, right? It, it becomes reflexive. Ooh! No, there's so many enemies. Why are there so many enemies in this room? Please die. Okay, we got them both. The drops too. And to be clear, my self-esteem is in a much better place these days than it has been for most of my life. But it's still, it's hard to, like I said, the, the self-deprecating humor becomes kind of re reflexive. And also I think it's funny. I do think it's funny. So these days I do it mostly for that reason, because I because I enjoy it. Um, but there's only so much you can self-deprecate without also deprecating people who care about you and people who think that you are, you know, good. So these are exciting items I don't know well hold on we'll be back Gunton, once we have once we have the money uh yeah so for that reason because I'm, I'm trying not to be like hey everybody who likes my YouTube stuff I'm dumb and you're wrong you have bad taste I'm trying to cut down on it a little bit uh probably we're buying the key right yeah we're buying the key I know that there's there's some uh some shop decisions that we need more information to make, but there's no way we don't buy that key. I guess that's not true. I shouldn't have bought it, because what if... What if we get another key as a room drop, and then, like, also the dog digs up a key? There actually are totally situations where it is wrong to have bought that key, and I would have been better off saving and buying stuff from Gupton. So yeah, buy, buying the key there was actually not good. That is the right thing to do in most cases, but we are in one of the cases where it is not necessarily. But yeah, so I guess that's your daily, uh, your daily where's SB's mental health at check, uh, check in. Pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Trying to, trying to be more mindful of my habits. Uh, also, on the SB's physical health front, I'm a little concerned. At least came home with some kind of stomach bug last night, and she has been having a real rough go of it, and she's been looking up her symptoms online and everything, which is a very smart thing that grown-ups should always do, because you are definitely a doctor, at least as much as a real doctor. Uh, and if it's what she thinks she has, if she, if what she thinks she has is indeed what she thinks she has, it's highly contagious. So that's fun for me. Uh, now let's just destroy it. It's a, it's a brown chest. Okay, we got one whole junk. You know, whatever. Not the end of the world. 
Yeah, so that's a fun, a fun question mark in my future, is <laughs> how sick am I going to get? This is like one of the downsides. I, I love, I love living with Elise. I love having a domestic partner. It's real good in general, most of it. I would say on average, very, very positive experience. However, there are some downsides to, uh, to living in extremely close proximity with another person. And one of them is that if she gets sick, I get sick. There's no two ways about it. There's nothing, nothing I can really do. It's just gonna happen. So, ooh. I don't think we've actually gotten this. We unlocked it, I feel like, quite a long time ago. But it is what you would imagine it is. It is a companion that fires upon foes. This tiny ship is captained by a heroic tiny spacefarer. Perhaps he or she has a tiny past full of tiny regrets. Oh, don't worry, buddy. If that is indeed the case, conquering pasts and regrets is just like what we do here. So, let's go have a chat with Gupton. I actually really like the Plague Pistol. I think it's a very solid gun at a very low price. This would leave us at about 30, we'd be at 31 casings. We have enough keys to go down to the Oubliette. I think we can afford to take this. It's probably a better boss weapon than the crossbow. But we're, right, we're just about to go down to the Oubliette where a lot of enemies don't take bonus damage from poison anyway. Yeah, you know what, let's skip it. Let's just save. We can maybe find something that is less unambiguously great. Or sorry, less ambiguously great. I want things to be unambiguously great. That would be cool. Okay, I will say that I don't particularly care for this boss fight. Well, there goes my master round. That was fast. <sighs> that hit a uh, hit a bush. I was I was not looking at. This is my least favorite version of this fight. Because until you until you clear out all of the bushes, which you just cannot do with many weapons, not like uh, efficiently, the fight's really crappy. There's, <laughs> there's a lot of weapons that are tremendously disadvantaged, like our crossbow, uh, by having a lot of weird garbage on the ground. I do wish I'd taken the plague pistol, I'll tell you that. Uh, but missing out on the first master round is a really, really bad sign. I'm just playing like garbage today, man. Okay, that's a huge amount of money. Feel good about that. Also, this staff of firepower, which is, as we previously discovered, a staff tied to a gun, is actually pretty okay. This is an alright weapon. Well, we're at 122 casings. So we could buy the Gondromeda Strain, which we know from previous runs uh, lowers the health of all enemies. I don't actually know how effective it is, but I kind of think we can afford this. Like, I think we can go down to the Oubliette with 26 casings and still make the, uh, the Nod Key. I think we can. I sure hope we can. I guess I didn't really search for the secret room. On that floor? That was bad. I'm screwing up in all kinds of ways. You know, sometimes you just have those days. It's important to not go on tilt. It's a difficult skill to master. That's not, not what I'm great at. And if you're not familiar with the phrase, although, you know, if you're watching video game play on the internet, probably you are. Uh, to go on tilt is to let one mistake uh, cascade into further mistakes. You do a bad job, you get upset with yourself for doing a bad job, and then because you're upset with yourself, you're not focusing, and you continue to do a bad job, and so on and so forth, until you explode with rage. Literally explode. Just blood everywhere. Terrible thing. It's a terrible time for everybody involved, especially whoever has to clean up that mess. It comes from pinball machines, the tilt functionality on a pinball machine, which is a gyro that is supposed to uh, keep people from cheating at the machine. I'm just going to continue to explain things that everybody already knows, apparently. Uh, I'm not 100% clear, really, on how that... Because the tilt functionality is just, you know, so you don't literally tilt the machine to make the ball go where you want. 
I guess it's because the tilt functionality usually gets engaged because you were mad and hitting the machine. Man, that's a lot of ammo. Thanks. Thanks, Junior. But uh, could it be keys from now on? You know what they say about beggars and choosers, and yet here I am attempting to choose. Yeah, like you get mad, you hit the machine. The machine uh, goes on tilt and drains the ball, and then that makes you matter. I get yeah, okay. I guess that that is a sensible etymology, even if it is total guesswork. Isn't that the most fun kind of etymology, though? <laughs> total arbitrary guesswork. Yeah, I like the. Um, we're gonna fire this once and then reload. I like the staff mode of this weapon quite a bit. The revolver mode is less exciting. Somehow I still managed to get hit by that. It's just one of those days. Uh, so we have found the secret room on this floor. It is not a good one. But I guess we could use some ammo. That's okay. I'm sure I don't need to play well to defeat this extremely difficult enemy that we've been working on forever. It's basically just a gun that you have to reload twice, right? Like, it's really not u worth using it in revolver mode. It's just you run out of ammo, you reload, you fire one shot, and reload again. I do not think this weapon is good enough to, um, to warrant having an extra cost for use like that. So we have a key. I'm not 100% sure we're going to open either of the chests on this floor. Not that there aren't good weapons in the blue quality chests, but, like, probably the next floor will have something a little better, right? We're in a pretty good place, though, money-wise. Things are really working out for us financially. I'm very confident we will be able to get the Nod Key. And hopefully the, uh, the Gundromeda Strain will be so effective against the uh, the rat that it will make up for the fact that our our health is going to be in kind of a garbage place. Honestly, it might help us get master rounds. I don't I don't know how much it reduces enemy health by. I assume it has to be pretty good given the price that we were charged. The consumer confidence effect is uh is nonsense in real life, but usually works out to be pretty uh pretty reasonable in video games. All right, I guess it's time to do this. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely, definitely fight the boss before making any chest decisions. Yeah, I can't tell if it's the gun being good or the boss really having a lot less health, but it feels like the boss really having a lot less health, right? Oh, man, that thing came off the wall at lightning speed. It takes less time to empty the mag in revolver mode than it does to reload the gun. <laughs> yeah, honestly, when this thing's in wand mode, I do think it's pretty good. Okay, the membrane. That's a good pull. I like this weapon a lot, as I have probably discussed on many occasions. This is going to be our go-to for a little while. So yeah, I think we're just breaking both of these chests. I'm going to save our one key for the next floor. Oh, hey, look at that. Every once in a great while. So do I then want to open this chest, or do I want to just save both the keys? I'm going to save both the keys. Come on, Sir Junkin. Nope. Okay. Well, a man can dream. Not a big surprise there. Uh, oh, no, we already found the secret room on this floor, right? Well, then, let's just move on. I'll say this. I'm, I'm super embarrassed to have not gotten the first master round. That's a bad, bad sign. But this run's really turned around. Gundromeda Strain plus Membrane should hopefully get us through floor two without much trouble.
Yep, that's kind of what I was talking about. That's the, <laughs> that's the outcome I was looking for. And another key drop. That's excellent. Space friend seems to be doing all right. It's hard to tell how much damage he's doing with his attacks because I'm not watching him specifically. But his rate of fire seems to be fairly high, so... I guess I don't really need to waste ammo on these guys, but also... You know. Your time is precious. There's a, there's a limit to how ammo efficient it is reasonable to try to be. Only so many hours in the day. Don't, don't spend all of them watching a tiny spaceship shoot at bullets. Get him. Yeah. That was worth waiting for. Because that is very funny to me. And the problem is the the waddle. They just they can't move very fast on account of they don't have legs. They just kinda like hop back and forth on their little stubby feet. Yeah, the membrane's the membrane's just a real solid gun. The projectiles, uh bouncing and passing through enemies. Makes it really, really great for firing into a crowd, especially in a small room where you can get some get some good ricochets. This is a high-class gun. I'm really glad we unlocked this. I'm pretty sure it one-shot that red shotgun kit near the wall there. I don't think my second shot was actually necessary. Although I guess some of that might have been a uh, space friend, who apparently does not believe that you need an open line of sight before firing. He's not into that. That's propaganda, he says. Listen, you just shoot at the wall, the bullets will go through. But you have to believe. It only works if you believe. Also, you want to you wanna dilute the, uh, the bullets in water until the amount of bullet in the mixture is statistically insignificant. That also really helps. And yeah, look at that. We are... We are a dozen times cool on Mark. Cool enough on money that we'll probably be able to afford to buy other stuff if it uh, if there's other good stuff available. Somebody's gonna respond in the comments and be like, "Oh, by the way, the gun what the Gundramata strain actually does is reduce the health of all enemies by three percent. You totally got fleeced by Gupted." But for right now. I'm feeling like we have made some good, relatively smart plays. Also, Goopton wouldn't do that to me, right? We're friends. Probably. I guess I can't understand a word he has ever said to me, but I think it's all been friendly. Uh, let's just go ahead and buy this so that we don't have to worry about it anymore. We have a gun muncher, which is... Maybe going to be useful. Uh, gonna kind of depend on what drops from the boss, I guess. I think I do want to go after the boss before opening any chests. I, I'd like to. I'd like to see a gun. Ah. Just flip this back over to the good side. Okay. Seriously, about to lose my second master round. Also, Space Friend, uh, apparently, it seems like he's blocking bullets when he runs into them. That is also cool. Yeah, the Gorgon seems to have... I mean, she always seems like she doesn't have a lot of health, but she seems like she really doesn't have a lot of health now. The Gundromeda Strain might be amazing. I think that's a possibility. Let's reload this, get it back on one side. And what have we here? Is this the Raiden Coil? Got a synergy. What do we got? What do we got? Oh, sure. The sh <laughs> yep, that makes sense. So this uh, the gun looks a little bit different. It's got side. It's got side guns. Like a like I got a power up. It also looks like maybe it increased the amount of max ammo. Oh wow! It takes a long time for that ammo to drain too. So it looks like it increased the amount of max ammo we got from the gun, but it did it after. Picking up the gun and setting the amount of ammo we get with it, which is kind of a shame. 
Okay, big iron is fine. Uh, are we going to open a brown chest that does not contain a gun? I mean, there are heart containers. There's at least one heart container item in the brown level item pool. Okay, ammo capacity up. That's fine. That's that's an okay pull. You know what? I think we're gonna go. Um, we're gonna go big iron and crossbow in the gun muncher and see if we can't get lucky here. We have cool guns. We can afford to. Uh, we can afford to go net down one gun. Maybe something. Okay, the flare gun. And the flare gun has a couple of neat synergies, at least. And we may as well buy this key. All right, let's try this thing out on the next floor. I'm I'm excited. I'm <laughs> very interested in where this is going. Also, ah, it's worth a shot. I thought this looks like such a good place for a secret room to be. Yeah, still still not super happy about the amount of health we have, but if we can pull a heart container on the third floor boss, I think we're in good shape. Okay, that's bananas. That was four ammunition, by the way. Hate, hate, hate these bullets. Okay, let's grab that and get the heck out of here. I am so annoyed with myself. Just like, don't, just don't hold the run button down, man. Just stop running when you get in the room. This is a very ammo efficient way to clear rooms. Basically, at this point, the only thing that's going to kill me is my own incompetence. But, uh, it's a powerful force. Do I open this? Yeah, you know, we have enough guns. I don't need to gun force anymore. <gasps> Heart container! Pink Guanstone is beautiful. What a good pull. Actually, really excited about that pull. We're going to have enough money to buy another, uh, what do you call it? Another key from the shop, so we'll be able to open the other chest as well and still get the rat room. Yeah, this is good. This is a good uh, a good start. Look at this. Look at what this gun does, though. Look at how fair this gun is. <laughs> the extreme level of fairness that is being exhibited here. Oh, also, have a key for free, why don't you? Okay, we have another gun muncher. Remote bullets I don't actually care for. I see Winchester's game down there. Just hold on a second. Oh, this is the rat room. Uh, let's see. Oh, over here. We already walked across it a little bit, so it revealed. And I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to do what we have been doing. I'm going to go down here and uh, pop my blanks right now. Just so I don't have to worry about screwing this up. Because especially with this loadout, I feel like we got a real shot here. Pink Guanstone showing up to help uh, <laughs> help alleviate some of my uh, less than optimal plays. Occasionally, I make a less than optimal play. I know, I know, it's shocking, but it does happen. I wonder if the Gondromeda strain will have any effect on the amount of health that the rat has in the punch-out phase. My guess is that it will not. But who knows, maybe. Yeah, let's do it. I like I like this game. This is a fun game. He also calls me prof. Okay, this is a pretty easy version of it, I think. Just have to make sure that we don't miss on this bounce. Oh, hold on, let's pick the easy ones up first, I guess. I think this one is considerably easier than the other one. Okay. The trick with this one is you have to not not uh, screw the angle up because it's going to bounce twice, but the second bounce is useless to you pretty much, so you have to make sure your angle is deep enough. Ah! Thought I could squeeze it in there. <gasps> the black, <laughs> black hole gun. 
won't you come and wash away the rain? <laughs> Sometimes the littlest things really, really get me. The black hole gun is extreme cheating mode. We for sure can beat the rat now. I have zero doubt. It shoots black holes. It's a technological marvel. Also possibly the most dangerous gun ever invented. Uh, produced by Interstice Technology. Once fully charged, users report seeing the momentary birth and death of a star. We're going to use this once here on this floor and then go back to our rain, rain coil. It does take a minute to charge it up, uh, but then it does this. Look at that. Look at that. It just eats all of the bullets and all of the everything. <laughs> uh, it's basically impossible to take damage when using the black hole gun, but its actual damage output is pretty poor. So we're going to save it for boss fighting. It's functional and vulnerability, though. Like, it's to be clear about why I am so excited. It is very hard to take damage while using the black hole gun. Uh, let's not spend the last key just yet. Let's finish the floor. But yeah, we got this now. We got this for 100% for certain. Cannot help us win the punch out phase. But you know, we're, uh, we're going to work that out. That's what we're here to do. So I said this at the beginning of the run that I discarded. I can't remember if I said it during this recording or not, uh, but I have a plan. I have an idea. I guess it's not actually a plan. But I had a thought. And those come rarely enough that I, I thought it would I thought it might be important to share with, with you. Um, the rats the rats fist gun, the, the boxing glove gun that you can get from the resourceful rats. Uh, loot chest gains stars the same way that we got a star when we interrupted the rat's attack. Uh, and that boxing glove gun, when it gets up to three stars, it deals a huge knockout punch, right? So here's what I'm thinking. This may just be the way punch out works. Again, I don't I don't know from punch out. I, I didn't have punch out when I was a kid. Uh, my plan here is we're going to go for three stars as quickly as possible, which means interrupting his first three attacks. Totally a thing I can definitely do, right? And then we're gonna dodge something, and lay on the lay on the super during the uh, during the the window to hit him. And I'm wondering if a three star super will just put him out completely. It's a little bit probably higher skill than uh, than just dodging the attacks and punching safely, but I have skill, right? Who says I don't? All right, Cannon Balrog, let's do this. So you can see the damage output of the gun is not very good. And in fact, I think generally what you want to do is use this gun and then use a different gun for a minute while it's while the projectile's flying, but it takes such a long time to charge up Jesus. It takes such a long time to charge up the gun that if you do it that way. Oh, right. Also, it's gonna eat all my bullets, so it's so scary. I think the bullets are non-functional, like I think they can't actually hit us while they're flying toward the black hole, but I'm not a hundred percent certain. Load, and then we're gonna try evading most of this attack with our black hole gun. This is this is real good. This is extremely good and fair. Like that fairness. I'm shooting the beams directly at the black hole. That's not gonna work. Nope. Ah, oh, come on, man. I couldn't get him to get off of me. All right, well. You know, the game is doing its best to give me every opportunity in the world here, and I'm still still dropping the ball. Also, to a certain extent, screw you for giving me the cannonball rog, because this is just annoying. Like, right? At this point, him going invincible doesn't have any consequences for us. I've already lost the master round, and he's not going to do enough damage to actually kill us. It's just like it's just wasting our time. That's all that, that, that all that is happening there. Okay, we got our bullet, the fires guns, which is cool. That's a cool thing to have. Uh, let's go ahead and spend our key. Okay, that gun also is pretty good. The uh, the loot this run has been fantastic. Uh, so do we want a gun munch? I don't actually think the bullet that fires guns is all that good. Why don't we put this in here along with the flare gun? Sure. 
Show me something awesome. Okay. I like a blooper. I like a good blooper. Who doesn't? I don't know that I need to do that. We're going to get keys from the rat, aren't we? Well, provided we are successful. Okay, let's do the thing. Am I faster on foot than when I'm in a minecart? Kind of seems like I might be. Okay, we'll definitely keep using the riding staff to get through the, uh, the rat maze. It is down, up, right, down, right, left. Look at that, I'm learning. Down, up, right, down, right, left. I am pretty sure that that's correct. We are going to double check, though. Down, up, right, down, right, left. Down, up, right, down, right, left. So now we are entering a room by going down. In that room, we are firing a riding coil into an explosive barrel that is inches from our face. <laughs> Not the smartest thing I've ever done. Down, up, right. Down, right, left. Down, up is good. Up is right. Up is correct. Up is not right. Right is right. But you know what I'm trying to say. Okay. Pretty good. This is a pretty good gun. Down, up, right... Yeah, this gun is phenomenal. What a ridiculous weapon. Uh, down, right, left. Okay, at this point, damage is pretty irrelevant. Because we are, we are going to be at full health for the fight. Okay, this is... This is going to be a very easy phase. <laughs> right coil... Who designed this gun? This is not fair. Uh, so we'll grab this with the riding coil, and then we probably are actually at full health or full ammo with everything, right? Uh, I guess yeah. Okay, fair enough. Okay, so let's enter with the black hole gun. We're gonna do the same thing here. Plan is uh, black hole gun followed by honestly maybe even just the riding coil. It spends ammo so slowly. Five full hearts, two blanks, and some of the cheatiest guns in existence. We can do this. Uh, yeah, riding coil. We gotta wait until it actually passes him. Yeah, the damage is pretty good. Not 100% sure what's going on uh, with the cheese that's just kind of hanging. Hey, I was in the... Sp I was in the hole between two of those knives. I'm doing a terrible job here. Black hole gun, not necessary. This is cool because they don't have to look at what I'm doing. Also, it's kind of not cool for him to... Uh, form the rope of bullets directly on top of my face. I'm not down with that. Okay, I took way more damage there than I should have. We're going to be really aggressive with the black holes on this phase of the boss. This is still this is still totally doable. I just got to stop screwing up in simple ways. Okay. Charge gun, charge gun, charge. And go. Ah, lasers. He figured it out. He also has lasers. He big, and he got lasers. It's tough. It's tough to deal with. Yep, yeah, he's definitely... He's definitely learning. Yeah, the, the coil's probably better damage. Oh, he's opening up the thing. I'm gonna wait to fire until he actually... Oh, I had, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I had broken that attack, I see. Ow. Okay, so he's figured out the black hole thing and he's going to 
exclusively use laser attacks on us. No. Everybody get in the black hole. Yeah, the Raiden Coil still hits even while the black hole is currently working, which is just, just total BS. That is like, I am very much cheating right here. The bullets from the Raiden Coil thing are not necessarily working. Oh, okay. This, this cannot go. Not okay with this one. Black hole gun. What it's saving us from here is uh, it's washing away all of my misplays. Okay, looks like he's starting to think about another attack, so we better get our black hole gun out. This is... This is a very good pair of weapons. Also, Space Friend. Space Friend is a very good weapon. Ah, look at that. I actually can, like, fight the boss a little bit, too. Yeah, what a good time to launch the black hole. I'm a little concerned about these bullets. I can't tell what's actually active and able to hit me. But yeah, I think at this point it's fairly obvious that we will be progressing to the punch-out phase. I'm going to tell you right now, uh, I'm going to talk a lot less during the punch-out phase than I often do, because this timing stuff is tricky for me, and um, anybody who's been around here watching series on this channel for a while knows that I actually I play games a lot better when I am not uh, commentating, <laughs> so forgive me. We're going to get this. We're going we're gonna to get some, some interrupts here in the first phase. That's the plan. Ah. There it is. Ah. I'm trying not to push him over into the second phase just yet. Ah, whatever. There's no, uh, there's no light up on the uppercut. It's killing me. Ah! What a bad performance! Oh my god. It turns out the, uh, the not talking, not helping enough. Well, once again, I think it is fairly obvious that this... This would result in a victory. Like, how would we possibly lose this run with, with the upgraded Raiden Coil and the Black Hole Gun? Uh, maybe you'll get me next time, but you probably won't. Yeah, you're not wrong. All right, maybe instead of being Trixie, I should just try to win the fight. Let's just try to win the fight. That's that's what we'll do on this coming attempt here. We're going to go ahead and drop down here and uh, pop open a rat chest just in case there's anything left to unlock. Oh, that's just the resourceful sack, which we already had, right? Yeah, okay. Nothing new unlocked. All right, back to the top. Try it again. That was fun, though. That was a fun run. Honestly, this is kind of a fun way to play Gungeon. You just get to, like, get to take a new, a brand new role on synergies and stuff. Uh, only, like, a half hour into the run. I want to give that one more try. I know that I just said, you yeah, know, maybe we should just beat him normally. I want to give that one more try. I'm confident that I can do better than that on the interrupts. I need to not... Basically, what I was doing there was I was all tense enough to press the button, and then I was just pressing the button as a response to any stimulus at all. Uh, which is a real problem when he goes for the uppercut, but also, honestly, is a real problem even when he does go for interruptible punches, because I'm still not hitting the timing. I think what I have to do is the opposite of tense up. I need to, like, relax and just wait and watch. Also, I don't... I honestly don't... Uh, don't know what hit me here in this room, which is a bad sign. It is not a good sign that my attention level is low enough that I can get hit by stuff without noticing. But it's gonna be okay. We're all gonna be okay. I'm just, I'm really distracted thinking about my poor gastrointestinal tract and the nightmares that it may soon be put through. Hey, hey, where are you going? Dude is fast. Alright, good start, good start. Also, um, I think 
Bullet sharks are the, the rooms that have several bullet sharks in them are pretty common on floor two. So this is not a terrible way to advance our, our rifle hunt right now. God, I love that black hole gun. <laughs> the black hole gun and the riding coil are like definitely two of the most powerful guns in the game. And to have not just both of them, but one of them in an upgraded, even better state at the same time is very silly. I'll be honest with you, though. I'm like, I'm losing sleep over this, uh, over this weird orange serpent thing. I don't know if he's an NPC for the, for the town or if he's an item or what. The art... The art speaks item to me, although he kind of doesn't look like anything else in the game. But right, he doesn't have like the big, the big colorful character graphics with the black outline. He looks more like the environmental stuff, which I think he wouldn't if he was an NPC that we were going to unlock for the town. Oh, get out of the way, rubber bullets! You're not actually a danger. All you're doing is making it take longer for me to kill this guy. I remember if I talked about why I'm using the pistol so much instead of the crossbow again. Uh, basically, my my thought here is just that the crossbow is uh, almost certainly faster for clearing rooms as long as none of the shots miss, but it's also not perfectly accurate, and we don't really have a ton of control over whether the shots miss. So I like the gun because a random miss costs us a lot less damage time. A lot less damage, I guess it's just the correct way of expressing that. It is, I think, lower, uh, obviously lower optimal value, but also lower variance. As such, I think the expected value is better. This is not what I wanted to do. I'm, I'm interacting with all the wrong things here. Okay, we're totally going to get the master round on the first floor this time. Not that it's necessary, obviously, but it's still something I would like to do for my mental health. For my, for my sense of relaxation. That wall looks real fake. Yeah, I love it when the coloration is obvious. I love it less when the secret room is terrible. So we may as well throw this in the machine, though. So we're probably going to open that green chest before fighting the boss. Cuz I didn't I didn't buy the shop key yet, right? Yeah, okay. Let's do this, open this up and hope for a cool gun. Uh, that's a cool gun, sorta. This is a kind of cool gun. Things about this gun are cool. bit of a shame that it creates orange circles on the ground underneath me when this boss has an attack that is uh, that is uh, signaled to you with circles on the ground. Okay, we got we got extra damage on the amp or off of the amp onto the boss quite a bit during that fight. I think that worked out really well. Also, this is a good gun. I don't know if we've had the Emperor yet. Uh, also, also, check out the key. This is a really good start. Have we had the Emperor yet? The Electric Terror Machine. Uh, fires powerful electron bursts that imitate ancient spells of chained lightning. Uh, you know what they say about any sufficiently advanced technology. Uh, so, I still have a blank left. And we found a secret room already, but you know. Sometimes there are two, it turns out. I don't think I want to open this. I think I'm just going to save this key for next floor. So let's just pop this thing. Okay. Not a bad pull, honestly. This run already lining up to be pretty good. We do only have 23 casings. So that's not ideal. But uh, it is totally reasonable to expect to get 
a hundred or so casings in two levels. I don't think that's crazy at all. Do I want to use the Emperor or the Face Melter? Let's let's stick to the Emperor. Because it's terrifying. I love the I love the degree to which it is a terrifying tool of destruction. Sometimes I say things, and then I, I hear them come out of my mouth a moment after I've decided to say them, and I think, huh. Am I a bad person? Is there like a is there like a level of true evil lurking somewhere inside of me that only hasn't come out because I've really never had the opportunity to wield a devastating super weapon? I think there's a non-zero possibility. Given the opportunity to be a supervillain, that I might end up being a supervillain. There's there's some there's some chance of that. That was a risky thing to try. I shouldn't have done that. All right, the hits keep on coming. Ah, oh God, oh God, oh God. <laughs> Got myself into a little bit of a situation there. <laughs> yeah, it's not very ammo efficient because every time you fire it, it, it uh, every time you click, it launches four shots. But man, it sure does do the job, doesn't it? Guess let's go and see what the shop situation is like. We're unlikely to spend on anything other than maybe a key on this floor because we are a little bit south of where I would like to be on casings. Probably something that could be resolved very quickly. All right, uh, we're probably. Are we gun forcing? We could, we could gun force this boss. I think it shouldn't be a problem. We don't have to worry so much about getting hit, and also we already have a couple of good guns. I would like to... I think we gun force this floor, and then assuming we get even one decent gun out of it, which I think we should, uh, we could probably not gun force on future floors. And we got a couple of good ones here, but I'm not I'm not quite confident uh, in our ability to fight the rat with them. Although maybe, maybe this is good enough. This gun is pretty powerful. Mostly what I'm worried about is that it doesn't actually have enough ammo in it to beat the rat. So we, like, we need a second gun that is capable of fighting the rat. But that gets less true if we manage to pull a damage increaser. Now that said, there aren't that many just straight damage increasing items. Uh, the Blobulon is always the one I'm trying to kill first in that situation, and the bullets do a really great job of blocking for him. It is weird that this gun fires in fours, but then the mag is 30 rounds. Why is it not a number that's divisible by four? Why is there a weird two shot at the end? not a big deal just <laughs> something about the shots not fitting cleanly into the magazine is really upsetting to me my delicate mathematical sensibilities and hold on think this all bullets Okay, let's definitely wait to open that. Okay, two green chests. This is this is good. This is a good good start. We haven't actually gotten the really great stuff here, but we have a lot of potential to get really great stuff. It's an important distinction to make because I I use the same words when I am trying to express that things are good, as I use when I am trying to express that things could become good. I think we have a possibility of good. And you know, precision is important. In speech as well as in gunfighting. Probably, honestly, more important in speech. I guess that's not... <laughs> that's probably not true. In gunfighting, you probably need precision for to not die and everything. But you spend a lot more time speaking than you do gunfighting.
I think this this face melter is doing a good job. Also, notice that it has uh, it has like more than one starting place for the music. It doesn't always start the song in the same spot. Uh, it's kind of a minor thing. It's nice. I appreciate it. But it makes you wonder why the unicorn gun can't utilize that same tech, right? Wow. Well, we are really good on keys. I do not think we are buying a key from the shop here. Okay, mine cutter. We have, yeah, a variety of very strong guns now, so... Feeling pretty confident about that. Definitely no more gun forcing in our future. Uh, homing bullets I'm less excited about. Okay, well, honestly, that might not have been worth the blank. Because that was an extra blank. Alright, we have this brown chest. We have to open this well. Wow, that was 50 casings. Okay, I am buying the key. <laughs> really no reason not to. Okay, yeah, a very, very strong start. A lot of good stuff is happening here. Uh, do I want to keep using the Emperor? I think maybe the Shot Grub is actually better for room clearing. Shot Grub's strong. All shotguns are good, but uh, this one is... I don't think this one's quite membrane level, but it's it's strong. It is a little bit dangerous. Really easy to poison yourself. Walking around in a room that you have fired a shot grub in. really get as much damage on there as I would like to. We'll just... <laughs> we'll just leave. Somebody else can deal with those bullets. Somebody's gonna walk into that room and have a really bad time. And shotguns... Okay. I will say this about the homing bullets. Shotguns are really improved by the existence of homing effects. Sorry, sometimes they are. It seems like the bullets don't all home in. Oh, Junior, great work. I really did not need to buy that key, apparently. Okay, this is the key run. You know, there are worse things to have too many of. that explosive barrel. There we go. The bullets were homing in a little bit too effectively. Uh, I was hoping that the uh, the impact from the shotgun bullets would do that thing. Push the grenade away from us. But instead they just made him detonate instantly exactly where he was standing. Alright. So to be clear, on this on this rat run, I am going to try one more time, uh, trying to get to three stars. And if it doesn't work, then we'll uh, we'll go back to just trying to get through. It feels like if you could pull off the stars, though, it might uh, it might really save you some some danger if you can actually pull the stars off. Yeah, see, not all of the projectiles are actually homing. Weird. I wonder if it just, like, picks a couple from each blast, or if if each bullet that I spawn has a random chance to home in or not. Let's see. Homing bullets may be one of the worst things you can get in a green chest. I guess the game does consider the charm bow to be a green item, which is... I think a little bit ridiculous. It's just an item that works like a bow has to be so good to be worth using. You know, like railgun good. Well, that's just lovely. 
Oh, right, the pilot's wingman. This is the spaceship's episode. You're thick and thin, this guy has always had your back. Now he can say the same about you. It'd be a little bit more appropriate if we'd gotten it as the pilot. Uh, okay. Somewhere around here, there's another treasure room. Oh! Look at what we discovered by accident. Huh! It's Gupton. That's weird. Well, I would be pretty happy to have a potion of lead skin. Right, and we're not likely to need any more uh, casings to get to the rat. So actually, that's a that's a fine thing to spend on. I don't know if I've actually used the potion of lead skin before. Have we have we seen that in action? It's quite good. Okay, so the wingman shoots missiles. Seems to shoot them fairly infrequently, although. Yeah, they probably do a lot of damage. Oh, I rolled into a stationary bullet. In most situations in life, colliding with a stationary bullet, not actually very dangerous. <laughs> in the gungeon, you know, everything's weird. Okay, that was a that was an impressive haul. We're definitely opening this. What is that? Oh. This makes stuff explode when you use it. Yeah, it detonates all explosives in the current room. I don't I just don't think that I, this item is any good. We'll probably be replacing it with the, uh, the potion of lead skin. Wait, this is not actually the exit. Here we go. That wingman's over here blocking bullets, saving my life after I make extremely bad rolls. Shot Grub's effective. Poison really does a lot of damage over time. <laughs> oh, the rad gun. Okay, I don't know that this is going to be like our go-to weapon. But I want this thing in good shape for when we decide we need it. Alright, let's go back to Goopton, because I think, <laughs> given the amount of money we've found here, we can make some purchases right this second that would be beneficial. Do I want the Napalm Strike, or do I want the Potion of Lead Skin? The Potion of Lead Skin is probably better. We don't have access to Great Man, so we're just going to lose this I-Bomb Companion Act, or Companion App. I think I'm fine with that. Yeah, this just makes you invincible. Temporary invulnerability. Probably, I don't know if it's actually better than this, but I like it better. And I guess we're going on to boss fighting. So, what's the correct weapon for a boss fight at this point? We have a lot of guns. Uh, it might still be the face melter for the double damage that we are often able to deal with it. Kind of a lot of garbage into the air, which is making it hard to see what's going on. But also, things are going okay. I don't have to be too worried, I think. <laughs> yeah, that worked out. The phase Melter is pretty good. I like it a lot. It's also a lot of fun to just, like, totally shred. Uh, we are not taking the Melted Rock. This is a bad pull. Uh, it's not really any reason to take it off the stand, even. Did we find... Yes, he was the secret room. So I guess we're good to move forward. Definitely don't need to buy keys. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Got one more swing at the rat today. I think it is doable. It's just a matter of whether I will do it, right? We can get full health before going down to the rat chamber in case that is a problem. 
I should probably switch weapons. This is not the right gun to be using right now. Uh, yeah, shot grub's fine. Shot grub gets it done is the talk. Do I? Hold on. I probably want to take this on the Emperor, right? The, the Emperor is actually a better gun for dealing with really difficult enemies because it lets us kill something uh, quickly, whereas the Shot Grub is kind of a doing damage to all of the things in the room over time type weapon. So in a situation where I'm in real danger, I'm going to want the Emperor to have bullets in it. Also, Wingman's doing some, doing some alright work here. Ah, sorry, right, buddy. Everybody gets caught by the bubbles. It happens. Don't don't take it too personally. <laughs> okay, that time he shot that bubble on purpose. I saw it. I'd like to take back all of the comforting things I was saying to you. I mean, I guess he just doesn't know any better, you know. We have unlocked the yellow chamber. Huh. Why? How did that... Alright. I wish it would tell you when you unlock something what it is that you did to unlock it. The unlock requirements for things are a total mystery to me. Yeah, like, that right there is a case where we could have used the iBomb Companion app. I just don't... It has no application at all in most rooms. Seems like a very bad item. I've never I've never been happy to get it. How are we doing on face melter ammo? We've used it quite a bit. Yeah, let's go ahead and refill. If the shot grub runs out, we'll switch to one of our other many good room clearing weapons. I'm not too, not too worried about this. Aw, oh, man, I failed the... Failed the dodge. Fortunately, I had armor, so even though it was a uh, even though it was a jammed shot, we effectively still only took one damage from it. Thank you, Wingman. Sometimes... Sometimes it feels like the reloads take a really long time to occur. I'm assuming that that's all in my head. But man, it felt like that reload was taking... It felt like I dropped the rounds and then had to pick them up. Yes, like some real last-minute tense confrontation with the villain in, a, in an action movie kind of stuff happening there. Okay, you have... <laughs> You have some keys for us. The Luxing Cannon's okay. On the whole, though, uh, not really great items. Doesn't it? It seems to me like when we have a lot of money, the shops just stop having stuff. Maybe that's all in my head. Again, you know how uh, you know how the human brain is about discerning factual reality. Jesus, SP man, at least use your potion. I think this. This shrine lets us trade heart containers for refilling our guns with ammo, I believe. Not, uh, obviously, something that we need to worry about right now. Boy, sometimes I feel like these enemies are very dangerous. That one was making no effort to hit us at all. Uh, oh, I think it's here. Yeah, here we go, here we go. May as well do that. In fact, we may as well open it as we have been doing. I'm going to skip the minecart. It seems like we maybe run faster than the minecart goes. Or maybe it's just once you've gotten down to the end of the track. Is it? Nope. Nope, it's definitely faster. Weird. Okay. Now we can't screw it up and miss our opportunity.
didn't quite push him off the edge. Probably I could have just sat back and let him die. You know, we're not really in that bad of a position as far as getting the master round goes, though. Floor has been very generous with blanks. It's a shame you have to, like, you, you have to really have a lot of blanks in order to carry any over into the rat floor. But I would love to, I would love to show up to the rat fight with just, like, six or seven blanks. The fact that you have to burn two to even get in is a, uh, a pretty clever way of limiting what you can carry with you. Uh, that looks like a fake wall. I wonder. Is opening the fake wall more important than trying to get... Um, trying to get the master out? I think it is not. Since we don't really have a way of cheating the fight, we have to actually have health. So we know where that is. We'll come back to it later, maybe, if it turns out we don't, uh... Turns out we don't need the blanks. I think we can just... We can afford to just open this. Like... Not great, but we have so many keys. Alright, Table Tech Rage is probably not super relevant, but we... There are things to flip in the rat floor, so... At least abbreviate some of those rooms a little bit with a damage bonus. Alright, I think we are actually done with the floor. So we will uh, we'll fight the boss here and then we will go and take advantage of the full heal. I think I'm going to stick with the face melter. It has been doing good work. Okay, I am so much happier to see the treadnought than the damn uh, cannon balrog tried to put that amp where I think it will be able to hit him most of the time. Let's just go invincible here. Apparently the uh, shots coming out of the amp have a limited, limited range. I did not realize that. It's not usually an issue. This gun's pretty good, honestly. I have not generally thought of the uh, the face melter as like a really great weapon. It's, it's one I'm never sad to have, but I think I've been underestimating it in general. It seems actually very good. Okay, so turns out we don't even need the full heal. Let's go back to that. It was this one, right? Yeah. Back here and get... Oh, hey, look, a key. Also, 170 money. Do you have any armor or anything? Anything cool for me to carry down? No, we could grab the Luxon Cannon. I mean, maybe it has some synergy with something. I just, I don't need it. I really, really don't need it. It's an okay gun, but it's not any better than okay. Yeah, alright, let's go. This is a huge amount of money. <laughs> it feels just totally wasted. Uh, do I want to start using the Emperor as we head down here? I wonder if maybe that's a good idea. I think I, I think I still want to go Face Melter on the boss, on the actual rat himself. But the enemies down here are tough enough that, like, killing individual enemies is more valuable, and so I think the Emperor is, is the move over the Shot Grub. I don't think we've really picked up, like, a, a good, good gun in since we got a hold of our shot grub. All the other guns we picked up have been fine. But I have high hopes here. With, uh, with six heart containers and the weapons we have, I think this should be doable. It's not, it's not going to be quite as good of a run as last time, but it should be doable. Down upright, down right left. Oh, good, more keys. Oh, uh, this is this is face melter territory. The 
That's pretty good. Okay, down, up, right. Give me your stuff. Really, guys? Okay, down, right, left. I was really hoping for two armor. Oh, good shot, wingman. That was down, we go right, and then left. Reload, reload, okay. Wingman's got me. Okay, that is definitely get, getting to feel a lot easier. I'm just getting a lot better at those rooms. We, are, we now have a lot of experience with the various rooms. Uh, what are we at on face melter? It's probably pretty high. It is not that high. This is definitely the way we want to take this. Okay, so I think we're going to go face melter until it runs out of ammo. Be aggressive with the potion of lead... Uh, Lead skin, we want it to cool down as many times as possible over the course of the fight. Reload out. Like, right after this, I'm gonna... Yeah, ah! Okay, so this... This phase, let's just turn so that the amp is hitting him. There we go. I didn't have to roll there, I was still... This, uh, the light skin lasts a really long time. Ah. Okay, pretty good, actually. Like, honestly, pretty good. Okay, let's do it. We got two blanks. We got a lot of health. I can do this. Damage output is solid, if not great. Let me move. Let me move. Right, I'm gonna do this thing. We're just gonna hide from this attack as long as possible and then blank it. Ah, I got too close to him. I'm gonna let's let's skin it. Managed to still get hit. Awesome. The damage is, is good, though. Also, it's going to be very difficult for any of these guys to get through, which is cool. So now I have to actually... Man, I pressed the button and I still... I'm so good at pressing the button for things just very slightly too late. Actually, still lead skins. Now there it goes. By the way, Wingman has blocked a number of shots that should have hit me already. This attack is very difficult to dodge. All it's very chaotic. Come on, just die, just die. die. Okay. Woo. Four in a row, right? All right. Again, low commentary. I'm gonna actually try to get these counters. I'm not going to. Ah, I hit it. Well, he just kind of opened himself up there. Right, that is hittable. And also, I have to block that. Ah, I, I would swear to you that I clicked. Okay. I just don't have the timing to get the counters. We're, we're just going to beat him. I'm just going to try to beat him the normal, old-fashioned way on the next run. I do think that there, there's a strategy there, but it's for people who are better at things than I am. Once again, let's drop down. So I feel pretty confident now that there's nothing for us to, uh, nothing new for us to grab in the chests up here. Let's just go and get as close as we can to our buddy here. Don't worry. We're coming, man. We're going to save you. All right. Well, I think that's going to be it for us for today. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time 
I think we're probably gonna maybe change it up, go back to the pilot, just uh, just for a little bit of variety. But I have to say, I'm feeling really good about the progress we've made on this boss fight. I feel like I can consistently beat the rat, even with equipment that's not great. And that's a good place to be in. So, uh, like I said, come back tomorrow. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get it right. Probably. Maybe. 30%. We'll see you then.